the ripple effects coming from the Change Healthcare attack. So of course, back earlier this year, Change Healthcare, a very important supplier for the healthcare industry, was hit by a cyber attack ransomware. They ended up paying the ransom, but this caused disruptions throughout the ecosystem. Millions of people ultimately have been impacted by this. And some of the analysis coming out are number one, the medical practices that depended on changed healthcare were taken down for more than a week. And as a result of that, some of them, at least in the short term, temporarily furloughed staff. There's long-term consequences because Claims when unpaid, tens of thousands of dollars sometimes for these small clinics uh, can really make a difference. And then just this past week, we found out ultimately what caused this. And we found out from the Wall Street Journal that hackers broke into their systems nine days before the attack. And as soon as I saw this, I thought, this is exactly what we want to talk about today, because those nine days were an opportunity where defenders could have prevented the worst from happening. There are a lot of different ways that attackers will break in, and there's a lot of damage they can do in that lead time between when they initially access the network and when there's that fireworks at the end of the event where they actually detonate ransomware. And in the case of Change Healthcare, we saw a massive exfiltration, or at least alleged, massive exfiltration of very, very sensitive data for potentially millions of people around the country. Yeah, one of the nuances of that article also were that it was caused because hackers were able to steal a password and break into an application that was accessible remotely. And it confirmed that multi-factor authentication was not turned on. So we're gonna come back to that, but it only takes one weak link to really unravel your entire armor. To mix metaphors at you guys. All right, so who did this? So what, what made this a, a lot more interesting for me specifically is the threat actor group that was behind the actual attack, and that is the Black Cat or Alpha V ransomware group. Now, if you're not familiar with this group, they've been responsible for some very, very large compromises over the last couple of years. And originally, they were thought to be the ones who were behind the the Colonial Pipeline attack, the a bunch of other large scale attacks, including things like MGM, uh, which we saw was a you know multi potentially billion dollar loss for the the organization itself. But they have recently been responsible for things like pipeline attacks. They were uh, linked to a group that went after some of the, the the bigger infrastructure attacks that we saw recently. And so we figured we would include that in our webinar. Saw just in the change healthcare attack, they made twenty two million dollars. So this is a successful ransomware business, unfortunately. Thank you so much, everyone. Again, this is Sherry Davidoff, CEO of LMG Security. And I'm Matt Duran, Director of Training and Research for LMG Security. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at any time. We would love to hear from you. You can reach us at info at lmgsecurity.com, find us on LinkedIn, or follow us on Twitter. Thanks again for joining, and we'll see you next time.